Hey guys, I'm back with another haul video. This is, has been a big week in comic hauls for me. I went to several places this week getting comic books. Uh, this was sort of a unplanned thing, kind of. So if you watched my last video, me and my buddies went to the deep and, you know, I got a, a big load of comics there. And then when I got back, my wife says that she, she hasn't, she hasn't been with me to do any comic shopping in quite a while and she wanted to go somewhere different that we haven't been yet so we picked a town that's about an hour and a half from where we live they had three comic shops there and we went to all three of them got comics a ton of comics from the first two the third one not so much they were didn't really have any deals and mostly it was new stuff that I already had and then their back issues were really priced priced up high, so we didn't get anything there. Now the first shop we went to, they were having 50% off their vintage books. Uh, they had 50 cent boxes, dollar boxes. Um, there was dollar modern books, as in stuff that's been out like two weeks. There were it was a dollar, so. I snatched up a few things that of a few new books that I didn't have that I wasn't planning on buying, but for a buck I went ahead and got them. Then we went to the second shop and they were also having a similar deal too. That was thirty percent off of their back issue, every back issue, and then there was fifty percent off of their vintage books, so like their Silver Age and uh, Bronze Age books, and then there was uh, a fifty cent bin with tons of fifty cent books. So. Basically, my wife picked out stuff, and I got stuff, and so I've got basically two two hauls worth of things here, and I'm going to show hers off first. So uh, basically, I can say basically all day long, all of her books are filler books for some of her bigger series. So we've got Buffy, Catwoman, Birds of Prey, and Wonder Woman. Um, so we're going to go through those, and then we'll go through through my haul of books so first up we've got Buffy the Vampire Slayer this is season 8 number 2 um, there's number 5 that's a pretty cool cover number 7 uh, I like that cover there number 8 Number 10, 11, number 12, 13, number 14, 15, Number 18, Centaur, 23. Also, all of these Buffy books were 50 cents. Number 27, and I think we're going to, yes, it, number 28. Then we've got Season 10. There's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Season 10, number 1. Number 3. And number 21. So that's all the Buffies there. She's a big fan of the show. So she's been buying the comics too. Alright, so we've got some Birds of Prey and Superman slash Wonder Woman. Uh, Birds of Prey number 59. Number 84, The Huntress in the Crosshair. 104 with the secret six okay these superman wonder woman's with these that she got here this completed the superman wonder woman new 52 run so she's got every issue of that now which is number two looks like killer Fro is that killer frost that looks like her number three this is tony daniels artwork on the covers very reminiscent of uh, jim lee Jim Lee work. You can almost even confuse it. I mean, it's very similar. I, I think Tony Daniels is uh, Tony Daniels, very underrated artist. 
Number four. Five. And number six. All right, got the uh, Catwoman here. This is from volume two. This is number 74. Number 76. This is all part of the No Man, no Man's Land storyline. It went through all the Batman titles. And this is number 77. These were all 50 cents. This one here was, I think, 50 cents also. Year one Catwoman. This is the Catwoman annual, number two. All right, into the volume three run here. There's number 15. Oh. Where? Oh, hold on one second. Yeah, I have got these out of order. Sorry, guys. All right, I thought I was missing some books. All right. Still in volume three, number 31, 34, 35. And on to the new 52 Catwoman. This is number 29, Terry Dotson cover. Uh, this is the gorgeous cover. Number 41. 43, and there's the Commissioner Gordon robot Batman. 46. And very cool cover here, number 47. Now the Wonder Woman books, and I'm going to go backwards from newest to earliest because we got some Silver Age stuff in here. We got an Adam Hughes, Wonder Woman 151, and this one here, gorgeous Adam Hughes, Wonder Woman 150, really liking that cover there. From her volume, this the rest of this is from volume one, this is issue 326, this is from the 80s. Issue 259. And then we're down into the 60s here. We've got a 12 center. This is Wonder Woman number 147. One forty-two. And what we got next? <coughs> one thirty-one. And this one here from 1961. This will be officially the oldest Wonder Woman book we have. Wonder Woman 124, 10 center. Got the uh, good cast of characters. Was that her mother? What, Wonder Baby and Wonder Kid? I don't know. But anyway, it's very cool to get to have that. Wonder Girl, Wonder Girl. All right, that's it for her haul. Now we'll go through what I got. There's a little bit more variety here i didn't um i did get some fillers and i got a few keys in here so the first first up this was a new issue it was a buck i liked the cover i thought about getting it when it came out but i didn't and i don't normally get dr afro unless it's part of a part of a star wars crossover but i did like the cover it was a dollar so i got it this here is kind of this also was a dollar last song number one from black mask just thought I'd check it out. And wasn't big on first baby teeth, but for a buck, I thought I'd go ahead and get number two. All right. Here we've got Red Robin number one. I believe this is the first appearance of Red Robin. Tim Drake has Red Robin. So, yeah, first, yeah, Tim Drake has Red Robin. Uh, several Batman fillers, all 50 cents. Batman 501. 575. 
Very cool cover here. 584, like a wooden sculpted man bat. 590. I like this one here. 593 in the eyes of Killer Croc. 604. 615. This will. I'm one issue away from completing my hush run. This is, I have only two issues left. I think I need number 617. I'll have the complete hush run. And I've seen this, and I've always, I've heard about this book, but I've never read it. It's Batman Death of Innocence. This is the horror of landmines. Uh, this is more, this is like a PSA on the dangers of landmines. landmines. This came out in 1996. Uh, 50 cents, so I made sure to get it. I already got some cool Alex Ross stuff here. JSA number 78 with Jade Garrick. Just Society of America number 4, Wildcat. Number 5, The Sandman. Number 6, is that Adam Smasher, Nuclon. I'm not exactly sure. Number 8. Is her name Liberty Girl? Something in that ballpark. Very cool. And a couple Silver Age is in. Then I got one Bronze Age. Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane. This is number 90. Also a wedding cover. I ran into a ton of Superman, Lois Lane wedding covers. I guess that was the big sale is, you know, women were buying, women or girls were buying a Lois Lane book. You know, their fantasies is to get married to someone they're in love with. So that's kind of, I guess, the subject matter of a lot of her stories. And But this was the one that was the cheapest. I didn't really, I think I paid like three fifty for it. It's in really great shape, too. Another wedding cover. Paid $5 for this. Action Comics 307. This is from 1963. This is Supergirl and... Someone there, Toran, will uh, getting married, and a book that I was very thrilled to get. Got this for fifteen dollars. Commandy, the last boy on earth. This is number one. I've been reading the Commandy series, the Commandy challenge that's been out with DC, and so I've kind of got a little interest in this. It's uh, Jack Kirby written and drawn, of course, very. Very Jack Kirby cover, and uh, I looked through this earlier. It's got an awesome map of the United States, and basically, well, actually, the, the North America and South America, and different parts of the country that are kind of like if you've seen how uh, Secret Wars was two years ago with Marvel, how they divided everything up into different sections. Somebody controlled this, someone controlled that section. That's kind of how this is, and. I don't know, I may want to actually read this. I don't really read a lot of old stuff, but it's very, it did catch my interest for sure. All right, I got one more big stack here. Got a few Spawn books. This is Spawn number 39. Very awesome Greg Capullo cover. I'm telling you, that's just, that is a fantastic cover. Spawn number 100, Mike Manola cover. Um, I didn't, wasn't aware because I, I, I kind of remember reading this in Wikipedia, but I was looking through this earlier. This is the death of Angela, so I don't know if this was during the time that Angela and what the, you know went to Marvel or what was going on with that whole fiasco of McFarlane, Angela, and all that stuff, the ownership rights. But she dies in this issue. And also, Malbogia dies. Uh, Spawn cuts his head off. So this was very cool. I was looking through it earlier today. Spawn 185. In game part one. This is cover B. Several other covers. There's another one like this where he's missing his head. I think he kills himself at the end of this issue. I was looking through it and he's like dead. Looks dead with his head missing. 
number 234. This is the origin of his costume, part two. Also got Haunt in it. Got this very cheap, I think for about like a dollar fifty. The Nam number one. I'm two or three issues away from finishing Moon Knight Volume One. This is number thirty. And I got some fillers for my New Mutants run, number fifteen. 38, 43, and uh, 46. Got an Uncanny X-Men I didn't have from Volume 3, the Bendis run. This is number 27. And I got these for 50 cents. I This looked awesome. I didn't know really know much about this. Ed Brubaker wrote this, X-Men Deadly Genesis six-part limited series i got the first three issues the other three weren't in there uh, so i definitely got to pick those up i want to read this look at how awesome that looks mark silvestri oh uh, here's number three i got these out of order that's very cool also and uh, number two got a deadpool book here with bullseye involved deadpool number 28 I got some amazing Spider-Man books. This one I paid just a few dollars for. Number 106. Wedding cover. Amazing Spider-Man 156. This is Ned Leeds and Betty Brant's wedding. 202 starring the Punisher. Issue 571. This is a variant with uh, anti-venom on the cover. New Ways to Die. And I got two more books here. This is one that I got for, I think, three fifty. Red Sonja, number one. I was very happy to get this. Uh, it's not her first appearance, but it still is her first, first series. So I was glad to get this one. And I got this one here, $10. This is The Mighty Thor, number 137, from 1966 or 7 first appearance of Ulick. Uh, so this is one of uh, Thor's arch nemesis. So I made sure to get it also. Um, and just I checked out the new Thor Ragnarok trailer today. Man that movie looks like it's going to be so awesome. Uh, so anyways that's our hauls. My wife's haul. My haul. Hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to hearing from you guys and seeing your videos as well. Thanks for watching.